According to Minister Janat Mukwaya, the labor export industry has seen remarkable growth over time with licensed external recruitment companies increasing in number from 29 in 2016 to 182 by October this year. This rise implies that there is more pressure on the ministry in terms of processing requirements for the intended externalized workers and companies. However, lack of working space by the ministry has been causing deficit in service delivery. Unfortunately, our current work, working space is limited with an office premise of two rooms and two corridors. The Gender and Labor Ministry partnered with the Uganda Association of External Recruitment Agencies to launch a one-stop center. This facility has three sections. The first section will house a reception and a registry for record keeping. In the second section, vetting, licensing and renewals will be done, while the third has a special room for mediation and another space for management. The facility is as big as 250 uh, uh, square meters, which is able to accommodate more than 30 officers against the nine officers that the Minister has been using. The obligation of uh, the partner, in this case UERA, is to provide office space amounting to 233.44 square meters. The government of Uganda and the ministry will be responsible for uh, all the costs related to providing of internet connectivity, paying for utilities like electricity and water, and providing staff. Annual remittances from labor in the diaspora stand at 1.5 million US dollars and Uganda is ranked 27th out of 159 countries worldwide whose national economic development is boosted by this source of revenue. Patrick Senyondo, NTV Tonight.